Mary Chesney, Council, and fellow Marstonians. I'm Ian Ferguson, City Council for the City of Lathrop Village in Lathrop Village, Michigan. I'm also a six-year veteran of the U.S. Navy. And yes, I'm a graduate of Morristown. Yeah. My legacy is now a part of your legacy. Because when I came here in 1986, I was only five weeks removed from the Navy. Five weeks. And most of you know that when you transition from active service to civilian life, it's very difficult. It's almost non-existent today, and it wasn't existent back then. So I made a pilgrimage, and I made a, a concerted effort to say, okay, I'm transitioning, I need to find a college. At that point, I wasn't able to get to college because the enrollment uh, time was, was passed. And so on a Wednesday night after my parents went to Bible study, and came back and we were having dinner, my mom said, hey, there's a junior college in Tennessee. They need students. Do you want to go? I said, well, I don't know if I'm smart enough to go. And my father looked at me like I was crazy. Here I am, I was an engineer in the Navy and I knew exactly what I was doing there, but why don't I feel that I could actually transition to civilian life and do a college and move on to better things? So I said, I'll think about it. I went in the basement picked up the phone and called my buddy who had just been discharged from the Marines five weeks before. I said, hey, there's a junior college that's gonna shut down if we don't get students. You wanna go? He's like, yeah, man, let's go. Let's go. I said, all right, that's Marines for you, right? Navy Marines, right? Hung up the phone, called both of my cousins. They said, yes, let's do it. That was a Wednesday night. The reverend that told my mother about this college his son decided to go. I, I then again picked up the phone for the last time on Thursday night, contacted my mom's best friend's son. He said he would go. So we had two cars by Sunday evening with six students, potential students from Morristown College. We drove through the night. We left at 3 p.m. and we got here at midnight. Everybody know on a Sunday night in Morristown College, in Morristown, Tennessee, there's nobody on the streets. Nobody to give you directions. And we didn't have GPS. We didn't have to. Siri, how do you get to Morristown College? That didn't exist in 1986. Didn't exist. So we were asking the the uh, gas station attendant, how do you get to Morristown College? Go down here, make a right turn. We finally got up to this street. We had no idea where we were. Pitch black. We turned in, we saw the two white poles, went over the hill, and we're like, wow, this is it. This is it. <laughs> it was one o'clock in the morning. We were tired and hungry, hungry for knowledge, also hungry. We ate, we went to bed, woke up the next morning, and all we saw were trees and buildings. And we were like, this is it. None of us wanted to turn back because we had such a sense of urgency. Because if someone told you, you have exactly two years to be on this planet and that's it. That's how we felt when we got here because that's what they said. Hey, we had accreditation issues. We don't know if we're gonna be open next year. You guys learn as much as you can and absorb it as fast as you can because if it's not here, you can transition. You can go to another college. So everybody that I talked to, every single person that I had, I was in contact with, had a sense of urgency. The faculty, Ms. Brown, Ms. Brown had a sense of urgency. Mr. Brown had a sense of urgency. And the people that I'm about to mention to you had a sense of urgency. They have since passed but they are instrumental in me standing up here, in particular, Ms. Fern's